Hey, what's up guys? My name is the channel. Welcome to episode 73 of Game Programming. So, today we're going to talk about Ratifier because last time we talked about range and um, um, basically I said that I'd talk about Ratifier. So, I'm going to talk about Ratifier and I'm going to show you guys how to implement Ratifier into our projectile system. So, first of all, um, well, what is Ratifier? Well, essentially Ratifier is um, a way to slow down the speed at which we fire our projectiles, right? or rather define the speed at which we fire our projectiles. So you can see that they're actually firing so fast, they're actually on top of each other. And that's kind of cool, but uh, may maybe not, right? We want to sort of space out um, the projectiles and essentially not fire them so fast, right? So that we only fire one. Let's just say we can only fire like, because right now we'll be firing 60 per second. So let's just say we want to fire maybe like 10 a second or something like that. Okay, we just want to slow it down. Now you, you can actually see in Wizard Projectile, we've already got a variable called Ratifier, which I implemented here. And the way the Ratifier is going to want to work, and this might be a bit, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically, the higher the Ratifier, the slower we're going to fire them. Okay, that's just how it's going to work. Because um, rather than Ratifier, we could think of this number as being the, uh, the, the time in between uh, projectiles, right? So the way that is essentially going to happen is, um, let's see. Well, the way that it needs to happen is in the player uh, variable, right? So, um, which is why it's kind of questionable to, to keep it there, I guess, because essentially we just want to not shoot very often. So what does shoot do? Let's check out. Let's check out our um, shoot method. So. What shoot does is it just, it essentially just creates a new projectile. I keep saying essentially, don't I? Anyway, it creates a new projectile and then it adds it to the level, yeah? Now, what we want to say is let's not create a new projectile that often, yeah? Let's just wait a bit. So, the simple way to do this, um, and this is in mob, of course, but the simple way to do this is to grab a static um, ratifier. So, I might actually remove ratifier from here. And instead, I might just have a public static final int um, called rate, or rather, fire rate. And we'll make that 15, which is what it was. Let's just do this to make it look nice. Um, and I might actually just remove it from here. Well, we don't have to. Yeah, we will. Right, file, let's get rid of that. We can keep a speed and range everything. But because the reason that I'm doing this again is because rate of fire is um, defining how often the objects are being created. Yeah, all of these things are actually internal. Rate of fire is external, so we kind of have to move it to a place that is external. So what we need to do here is um, uh, say that what should happen is in player dot. Oops. In our player class, we've got an update um, method. So we need to say that if um, wizard projectile dot fire rate is greater than zero, then we should, oh, it's final, isn't it? We shouldn't have made it final. Let's go back to here. Or we could make it final and we could, yeah, this will probably be much better. Um, so let's just say the player has a gun and it's, his gun has a fire rate, so let's make a fire rate for our player. Yeah, fire rate equals zero for now. Um, and then in this instance, since we've got a wizard projectile, then in fact, it's probably better to do it this way. Projectile P, yeah? That's kind of like the gun that our player has. So essentially, I probably should have made weapons rather than projectiles, but it doesn't matter, we can change that later. Or we can leave it, we can leave it like that, we'll see. Um, so, Let's just set P equal to, um, well, a wizard projectile, essentially. But we probably don't want to make it a thing. Yeah, you know what? We'll create guns later, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that system then. But for now, and weapons, I guess, not necessarily guns, we'll see. Uh, but let's set the fire rate right now equal to wizard projectile dot fire rate. Yeah, and what we should do here is say that as long as um, our fire rate is greater than zero, let's try and, you know, let's just subtract stuff from that. And um, and if we do actually shoot, 
So in update shooting, uh, if we do actually click, we want to make sure that we, after we shoot, obviously, um, that we set our fire rate back to the wizard projectile to fire rate. And that we only shoot if we click and our fire rate is actually less, um, equal to zero. Or just in case, probably better to say less than or equal to zero. Yeah? So if we check this out, what you'll see is we've got a much uh, slower fire rate here. Now what we can do here is, um, if we go into my, where are we printing this stuff from, the size of our projectile, right? Would that be in level or in player? I just wanna get rid of that. I think it's a level, because that's where the thing is, right? No, it's on level. Oh, here we go. Get rid of that, so that we don't print anything in our console. All right, sweet. So if we go into wizard projectile here and we change the fire rate to like five, you'll actually see that we actually fire faster. See? And if I change it to something like 50, well, we're gonna fire pretty slow. You can see just how slow that is. Yeah, so that might be something like a sniper, which, with, which has really, really, really long range, which would be kind of useless for this. Oh, this would be cool. Here's an idea. Maybe we, maybe in the future we could make a sniper um, weapon. That's, that's like, a, like a sniper rifle, and if you hit right click, it just zooms out your display a lot, so you can kind of aim long range, and then you can fire. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, with, for this wizard, wizard projectile, I think 15 was pretty good. Like, maybe a bit too slow, maybe 10. So, just so you guys know, um, higher, higher is slower. Just keep that in mind. Okay? That's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it to that. Okay, sweet. So that's how you, that's how you do fire rate. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of um, game programming. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon. Um, exam time is coming up at uni and I've got a few portfolios to finish. Well, one portfolio to finish and one exam to do. So um, I am kind of busy, but I hope that I'll be I'll have time to make you guys videos because I enjoy doing it. So yeah, anyway, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.